Well, hello guys. Uh, welcome to Masanda One Fan Vlog. Uh, it's the um, post-match review and player ratings for opening uh, game of the 2020-2021 season. Uh, the treble winning uh, defending champions, uh, three-time champions actually. Uh, we, repeat. Yeah, three-peat champions. Uh, three goals, three coaches, three points. Everything also, comes in. I also told me what I was saying. I was about to say, uh, uh, we always start. We, we always our opening games are always uh, like this, actually. Ne? Yeah, I remember Super Sport last season and the season and two seasons before that. Except the, the only time. No, that, say, uh, uh, yeah, wait, was it? Oh yeah, yeah, Chiefs was our second game last season, right? Uh, what's it? No, no. But we we was, opened we opened the season with Chiefs. Uh, 20, for last 2018. Yeah, that's why I'm saying last okay, season yeah. we played Super Sport, and then two seasons before that we played Super Sport. But it had capacity was season. It had football of the season. Mm. We played Super Sport. Well, Rajiv two not that first game of the season, but uh, the first season yeah we have broke him First full season yeah broke him First yeah. We played um, Chiefs uh, the first game and we drew one one. Yeah, uh, yeah, and uh, us being true to ourselves, um, as much as uh, sundown sundowns are slow starters, uh, we just find a way to win uh, our first game. And the only thing uh, that I was thinking, I was like. Three out of fifteen in our first five match, uh, five game block, which is always a good thing yeah. because should you get six six points uh, in the opening two matches, then you are most likely to get off because the target is always twelve out of fifteen. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, to, the, uh, that, to get the target of seventy two points. Yes, which by, which by the way we've now gotten to. Yes, uh, the best we did was seventy-one. Yes, we were, we were one point short of our one point short of our target. Mm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah. Now you can you can go on about your smack ball and three goals and three coaches now. <laughs> because I'm a man of honor and I'm a man of grace and I'm a man of. <laughs> It would be a real criminal to me to start this episode without congratulating the greatest of all time for reaching the Champions League final. Uh, Come on, playing some... Champions League is a guy, mo. I get no boy. I get Ronaldo de Coram. Oh, we, okay. We, yes, Ronaldo de Coram. We are, we are oh, people of God. Oh. Okay, channel of Open here, ah. the greatest of all time for reaching the Champions League final, uh, and all the best for, uh, for him. Um, to today's game, today's game, uh, today's game, Munna. We were tactically, technically, we were superior on all fronts. Uh, mm. but we were so, so superior. Uh, they, I, I was telling Toto, Toto didn't watch the match. He didn't watch the first half. I was telling him, I was giving him an update as he walked into the house, telling him how, like, it's it's slow. We started slow. Like, we, Chiefs, Chiefs looked threatening in the first maybe 15 minutes and Lohona in that 15 minutes they didn't they looked threatening for like five minutes of the 15 minutes like yeah. they created the opportunity a karma on Yango pulled a, a good save um but otherwise like and and a typical given hand football in a big match like sit in a in a lowish block to this block wasn't so low in a mm-hmm. lowish block yeah and then look to uh play a win play and look to isolate, uh, maybe get Morena and, and Kama on one on one, or like hey, uh, Kama was operating a lot on like hey side, uh, yeah, because we knew Morena's one, eh, eh. but he he will get into that. Her, 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 her I thought he had a, a um, a very rusty performance, I mm-hmm. thought he. Rusty, but we'll get into it in sort of, in sort of the more gaming. Yeah, but yeah, we're, I, I thought, oh, yeah, yeah, continue. We're so dominant. We we're so dominant. Um, I saw, uh, as I was scrolling through the timeline, dark half time, as I usually do, I saw Rapalang said, or the only thing that was in the nature of Tamola is that if we had a second 10 there in the team, we would have mm-hmm. tore them apart in the first half. 
like yes. we're told apart, told them apart. So so superior. Yes, uh, but again, um, in the first 30 minutes, you 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 would have thought it was just an overly technical game. Like uh, it wasn't as open. Uh, it only became open when when we after Kimmich, after Kimmich's goal. Only then it became it became open, and after Gavin introduced Machiane um, and uh, Njangase, um, yeah. when Njangase came on, it it, it kind of gave uh, Chiefs a bit of a spark. But I think it was too late. I think uh, on our side, uh, on what you said about Morena, uh, it, it was his first uh, since he broke his leg, uh, and. I didn't expect much out of him, like, and I didn't expect much out of his side. And you could see in the first half, we were attacking on the left a lot. We were attacking on the left side a lot. The only person who was uh, sort of occupying that right space, that, those right, that, that right channel, was Shalulile. And he was having a go as well at uh, Jagen Sussman. Uh, Sussman and Prosler were not getting any joy going forward. Like, they were pinned back so much because he made set Kopele and then. Uh, Shalulile, because he's a hard runner and uh, he's fit, like, Shalulile is very fit. He's the one who was, like, um, sort of, like, playing that role uh, of getting the ball, getting a bit deeper and helping out Capello as well, even though Kemet and I was collecting the ball deep. But I think it was out of frustration because of the thing you said about uh, not having an extra 10. I think having an extra 10 would have unleashed Kemet even more. Uh, yeah. We played more, we attacked more on our left side and Laila K was on the ball so much. And one thing that I hadn't realized about Laila K is that his decision making uh, can be questionable at times. It can be questionable at times. You know, when I was looking at that game, I was like, you know, if we had only started Obrim Diva and Lelim Kulis in this game, we would be so far ahead. We would have properly won of the team. Properly won of yeah. the team, that team. I don't think that performance um, I'm not that we must lambast the performance or anything. I mean, I mean, really, who would lambast the three in one? But I don't think there was much of a difference between that performance and the one against Blue Hundred percent. One hundred percent. I was, I was, I was thinking to myself yesterday that uh, football fans react to results. I and mean, goals, Nigubuta, yes. Yes, Nigubuta, about it. Look at the Celtics. I think no. Looks a little. I was talking to you. Mm. Look at the Celtics game that we played. Like the, the the type of game we played and how we played against Celtic. Mm. There's nothing much we didn't do. We left everything on the pitch except score a goal, and then they got one chance and scored it. Like you know, like there's not there's not from today and game against Celtic. The preseason game, there wasn't much uh, uh, difference. <laughs> you wanted to you wanted to slide by that one with a straight face. <laughs> yeah, so like like there wasn't much of a difference in, in the performance. I think it's just that today, uh, today it was we, we we, I think we just scored the goals and I think the change in shape as well uh, helped. Yes, uh, that yes. We, yeah, we played three midfield. Absolutely dominant midfielders. Um, I, I think our midfielders played well. Uh, uh, the captain played okay, but the other two were absolutely. The captain actually better. played better than he did against Celtics. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. But the, the, the two midfield uh, AJ and River, oof, yo, 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 yo. yeah, they was they were they were killing it. They were they were bossing it. I think. I saw your tweet that said, uh, and I agree with it, that AJ should have been, uh, uh, River should have been man of the match. Um, and funny enough, Tottenham and I were having an argument over it. He was saying, ever since he got, because he got Kasaka enough, mm. he was like, ever since he, yeah, AJ has been passing it. Of course. Yeah, okay, but River was playing like this at first half. That's exactly how AJ is. And it, he got in that block. Yeah, 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 goal, yeah, Castro, where Castro yes. was supposed to score, and the assist. I think he's my man of the match. If 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 if, the, if there was a way you would give Riva man of the match for the first half and give AJ man of the match for the second half. Yes, yes. Yeah. I thought, I thought, but AJ, yeah, AJ, AJ, like in the second half. You know what I? 
sometimes I blame myself for going on Twitter like half time, half, half time, because you will see beat or a so and so should go out, and I'm like, you know, football is a, is a tricky thing. You might have maybe let's say you can have the worst first half and then have a very decent second half. Like sometimes you don't be hasty and. Sometimes you can see, you know what? I'm I'm glad for some of us are not coaches because Lina, Lina, uh, I would have said the same thing, uh, like, like hey. Uh, but the thing is that with Lyle, it would have it, the quality of Obrimudiva is there for everyone to know to see. Uh, Obrimudiva is always high up, getting assist, but he's like Dion Hotel. Like their assists always go down the radar. Marocas is never like they have like eight assists. Uh, yeah, you know what I mean. They average between six and eight assists, and I think now sundowns we are just desperate for players who bring in the threats because we do have the players that who the, the players who make us play like your Mshishis, your Mkulises, who might not have a high number of goals. Mshishi, like this season was an anomaly because he had double figures in goals, which he never does. Uh, Mkulis never has a lot of goals, but what he does, Mabue is the most obvious because uh, of what he does off the ball and what he can also I deliver on the ball. I thought he looked sharp today when he came on. I thought Mabue looked sharp. Right? Yeah. And then Baba ba- ba- there, there was a point more naturally and then I, I looked at really Domingo and he was going to slide it to Domingo for the fourth goal. Yes. Uh, uh, I, thought, I thought he was I thought he was he was crazy today. I thought, not crazy, mm. but he was sharp when he came on. Yes. Um, um, and the couple that like they, we have so much quality. We 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 really have so much quality. I wonder, like like Gachin, we saw a bit of rotation. I wonder if this season we're gonna see a bit more ro- rotation from our coaches. You know, I think, um, I think like, we will. I think we will this season. I think plus it's coaches who also like certain players for certain games you know like certain games require certain certain players like let's say you're going to play uh, a cheaper away I think those are the type of games where you'd have to play like a George like a person who can unlock a defense in terms of like he's a high percentage passer of the ball and also he's uh, very good in, uh, in, in, in 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 cracking like a stubborn a stubborn uh, Low block, yeah. also his yeah. is set pieces. So I think those games where you have to win, dirty, you will require players like both George, both Pelelem Kulis. But going back to the point I was trying to make earlier, Humlimo, was that um, uh, what was I saying? Oh, I was saying I think now Sundowns. I think we've been winning up autopilot these past seasons, but now we we just require. A bit more of like like these players who bring players who bring gold, players who bring assist because our goals are always scattered. Like in like yeah, look at our maybe like two center backs have like three goals, wing backs have one one goal, one assist, midfielders. So I think this season we're just desperate for players who bring in m- most of the stats, like but oh, but in terms of assists and like I think Aubrey, what my thing is. Uh, about uh, the thing is, ever since Coach Peter left, the one thing that I've been seeing people saying, and a little now what I felt, not that I don't trust our 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 coaches now, but it's something that you can't you, you, you can't shy away from the fact that when Coach Peter is there, you believe blindly. You know what I mean? Because the guy is proven. The guy is like Coach Peter is a, a larger than life character. Exactly. Yeah. You know. So my thing is. Uh, now, with the coaches that we have right now, you you wonder, Hore, um, are you going to rotate because you have to rotate or... I don't, I don't, know, if, I don't even know how to put it. I, I don't know. Like, I even lost my train of thought, but hopefully I'll get it back. I think, again, are you going to rotate because you have a lot of players, a lot of quality mm-hmm. players, give game time or are you going to rotate because of load management yeah. like the, the load of the players you know especially with a packed uh, we have to play um, three competitions in okay I know we, we, we played three four competitions 
Kale with uh, with with in ten months, but no, we have to play three competition within eight months. I think it's a Seven, compressed yeah. season. Yes, it is a compressed season, uh, and we have we want to compete. We want to make the the knockout stages of the Champions League as usual. But I, I get what you're saying, and I think um, I think time only time can tell whether they'll be rotating because of injuries and uh, load management or because of. Uh, they have a lot of quality players and a lot of combinations they want to try out. I'm so, so, so happy that we we played with our guts in Serena today and we won. And mm-hmm. we played uh, our, our, our best player along with Mishichi, we played without him. And uh, remember when people, when 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 the previous coach, Coach Pichol, signed these players, he was like, he, 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 he was telling people that he doesn't want to be over reliant on the quality players that he has. That yes. he doesn't want to be over. I I never hope on a Harley when Mushishi or Kasten Serino is not there. And yeah. today we played one of them and we put up a, a, a superior performance. Going back to your point of um, uh, signing players that will add numbers and 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 stats. Also, the type of quality that they add. Look at the yes. two first two score today. Um, the a striker that scores Kaheda. When last did we have that? Mm-hmm. Uh, we had Afonso. Said peace. And I got said peace. A, a, a striker that scores ka, 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 Kaheda. Tick. A striker that scores a rebound first time. Not trapping the ball, anything. Tick. It's things that we've missed, you know, we've brought them in this season, I think. It is. And, and if we can make faith like, and trust into our into our technical team, I think we'll, we'll eat Gucci this season. <laughs> but you know what my my one concern... Thought, okay, I know it's only the second game of the season. Uh, uh, but my worry is going forward. I know most of the time, the players who might not really start season 8 or more, but fire like mid-season and proved to be a place that should start but right now my thing is with the quality that we have i just hope that uh, our coaches find a way to have our best 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 players in every position in the starting 11 because when you look at today's team you can say this is our best 11 Especially with the system that we play today, and we play now. You know, my favorite is now my 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 favorite formation is four three three. The best teams in the world, the biggest teams in the world, four three three. And I on I and the thing of numerical superiority in the midfield, it showed you, Kajeno. And another thing is that we were so close to being. We have started our best eleven, but my thing is that in terms of like left back. Uh, we've been trying to solve the issue here left back. And I think Obrimudiva is our best bet. Yeah. He's our best bet. But he's not starting. I, 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 I'm, I'm interested to find out, sort of like, why? Why is... Okay, he came on, but he was played out of position, game 10 8. So, I'm just hoping we're moving forward. Like, because I don't want this to me. I don't want to make this, this thing about individuals because the biggest thing is that the team plays and there's cohesion and then we win. That's the best thing. Um, yeah, if we go to the thing of individuals as well, you can it, say like, it, you it can, can say be like, subjective at times as well. It can be because you, yes. you can also go into the fact that you no, know, our best player in the bubble is not starting. Uh, yes, that's that's another big concern that our best player in the bubble did not start the game today, did not start the game against Brufant and Celtics, and it's a, it, it's worrying as well. Who are like play like. like was part of the group that dragged us to a league battle and he's not starting games and he didn't even come on today. And Hajim Domingo started game and eight came on today and you just think, oh okay, at least my boy came. At least they're finding a bit of a balance, Bobo. Yeah. But let's just but another thing is that you know Chris Bizzo would always say uh, the cake is too big. Yeah. Yeah, the kick is too big, and the season is still early, man. Like for for us to like moan about with about players and say so and so should start, so and so should start. But now my my thing is that our performance improved today. Even though I can, we can't really say ah, this was the same as Celtic because we were sh- a, a slightly sharper, like slightly sharper than we were last week. Even though we are not there, because whether you like it or not, we always start. Slow and another thing is that 
when KB said in the bubble that you will see the real sundowns after five games, I'm still expecting that even now. Or like after like five, six, like between like our fifth and our seventh game, that's where I'm expecting to see us be a bit sh- more sharper. Like because you can see with our decision making and like some of the passes that the player, you can see Hore, we are still not there like hundred percent. Yeah. Mm. Right. Uh- yeah, if you, said, if you said everything you needed to say about mm. the, the hopefully, <laughs> <laughs> hopefully, yeah, yeah. But oh, I wanted I wanted to mention uh, about the, the the two shapes that we kept uh, interchanging. Him. I think yes, most of the half we we played a four three three, a one four three three as the proper way of football of saying it, and then uh, but as the as Mushishi would usually drop into the ten role, but the strikers would be a bit wide. And then we, we he would he would try anchor it from there. So I think today we we were switching a lot be, between a four three three and a four four two diamond. Mm. That's, that, those our our two shapes today look good. Uh, I was loving uh, the four four two diamond, especially after George uh, came on. Yeah. Oh, oh, George. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about that. We we'll start doing the ratings, but yeah. In it. Yeah. 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 Uh, right. So can we go into the ratings? Yeah. Uh, I thought Denise was good today. I thought Denise was good. Let's say for the for the karma chance, b- brilliant. Uh, Denise Nyango is a great shot stopper. You can't take that away from him. Like, yeah. Uh, he loves the big games. He loves the big games. <laughs> he's, he's, the, he's the Anthony Lafour of goalkeepers. <laughs> 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 That's true. I think, uh, I think, yeah, like uh, Dennis's performance today, uh, it was so disappointing to see how we considered against Celtic because I, mm. I, yeah, like, because that ball didn't have like so much power. So, Kaja, you know, like, he, he didn't let off. He didn't let off today. I think, I think Dennis today uh, deserves a seven. 100%. Yes. One. Mm. Uh, very, very, very rusty performance after a long time out. Um, yes. you can't, can't know. Um, Kama, uh, Kama didn't trouble him much. Uh, when he was on his side. Um, uh, and then, uh, but going forward, Nese Tapel, and he wasn't climbing a lot. I, I wonder why. Mm, he, he wasn't, wasn't climbing like, today. Uh, he wasn't climbing a lot. I don't know if it was an instruction or because. It, maybe it was an instruction because it was tactical for him to track back the counter or it was it was instruction because they knew he wouldn't have the legs to go up and down because he hasn't played in so long but yeah, yeah and, a, and a pitch is like the pitch is, is a grand like you will burn out in the second half yeah mm. uh so, eh. It's tricky, it's tricky because... I think with the fellow today, I think he deserves a 4.5, not because yes. he was bad, but because he wasn't himself. Yeah, and I can show if you can ask him, he'll say, I'm still, you know, I'm, I'm still getting back on the bike. Like, I'm still, yes. like, I'm still fueling, like, engine I should do me as much. Uh, as, as players would always love to say, or, uh, yeah, engineer do mahanyan hanyan, but I think, with 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 more stats, we will see the real couple of back. I think it's a four point five or four today, but not because he was I, bad. I was gonna say it, it will sound bad if I say four point five, but five. <laughs> five, five, five. <laughs> you have to be honest, yeah. though. You have to be honest. Yeah. He just came back from a long, long layover because of uh, a broken foot. So, uh, yeah, he has to get over like small things, like even psychologically, like his movement won't be the same but i think hopefully there will be like uh as the season progresses yeah. uh, uh nascimento oh madisha yes let's start with madisha i think madisha was good uh my uh, every, one thing i always tell you guys is that madisha loves a battle madisha loves like that boy lives for a battle you know madisha when we play teams that don't have like a uh striker who's like dominant physical and dominant he gets bored like that's why about 
as like we could do me like for deceiving like but like I yeah Madisha loves a Nukovic like he loves a Kama who will have a go at him like <laughs> that's what he 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 lives on and thrives on and they he did well against Kama like on the one on ones that he 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 got against Kama like he came out tops I think uh, 80% of the one on ones he might have won uh, and I was also happy with him in the second half because Chiefs in the second half when they brought on um uh, Ntana say brought on uh, Mashiane and still had Mwabo on the pitch and come on the pitch oh they still have come I forgot who I, I forgot if come on still there or not cuz Lena yeah. Mazadze uh, uh, regular raster so I was uh, actually sure in the match so we're playing more uh, who's the other boy who came on I think Sifama like they were playing yeah, they were, yeah, they were playing like they had some nice triangle passes like now that already went on and i think that's where a defender has to end his keep like in terms of playing against tricky players like that and stopping those um uh, nice movements and combinations and i think that's like he that's where he got tested. around 65th minute all the way to the 90th, 90th minute i think he 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 even though river was dropping on a lot to help him i think Medisha stood his ground and I want to have fun about it. Hurry, let me find him. Me late. I'm the real defender of the season here. Making a making a defender at Champions League. Yes, what, yes. What, what I noticed is that Gavin had given an instruction so that Medisha would be the one that plays the ball out. Yes, so when, yes. When we get the ball, they press him and then he he Medisha throws the ball up. um never and erratic pass yes. he did a couple of erratic uh, passes but defensively he was sound just like he's hot now he's hot but rate madish uh, i think madish is the same rating as on yango 7 okay hmm. nasimito defensively sound defensively yes. superior uh defensively uh nobody care you know i thought to myself or but isn't gavin didn't gavin watch the celtic game and so or bafana was celtic but never try one on one limit or never mira i thought gavin maybe would take kama out from out wide and bring him inside for about one on one limit and test mento but that didn't happen but uh aerial balls against castro and parka and whoever would be there he won all of them he won mm-hmm. if not more like, he, he won a lot of you know one a lot of those uh, defensively who i think our whole defense defensively like they they did super well but mm-hmm. mento what my grab with him is that he he didn't get that that pass right catching like he wasn't getting that pass right like they didn't yeah. They, yeah he wasn't and also like he wasn't the quarterback mm-hmm. nasi mento that we you know that we, mm-hmm. we we love you know yeah, yeah but uh, i think because But, but because de- defensively as a collective we were sound play and i think hmm, i'm i'm thinking between a 6.5 and a 7 i think a 6.5 is much better is a, is a, is a fair rating for him yeah it's a 6.5 for me oh okay uh lela k yeah uh, um okay you can go <laughs> probably delay so okay i'll go um Lyle, man, mm, you, we spoke about his decision making going forward. We spoke about it earlier. You know, if if I don't know if I, it will be correct if I can say if he can better that because he's 29, he should be playing at the peak of his powers on a man. Uh, he should be, you know. But defensively, then he he didn't give much away. Like he was not 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 correct. He was not sharp. Like, but but I, yeah, my thing about Lyle. Okay, finish what you wanted to say. Okay. Yeah. Like but going forward which is what we want of an attacking full, full back wasn't the best it wasn't the best of his games but no 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 dala one two le 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 j you know trying to get out uh, uh but yeah I I I don't know I, I think with Lyle uh, because of the thing that you mentioned earlier who people wasn't climbing today uh we we attacked so much uh our left channel and uh through Kaiser Chiefs uh, right channel Ma, 
my thing with him is that he was so much on the ball. Like he was so much on the ball. Like I'm interested to see like how many touches did Lyle get on the ball after half. He might have gotten as many touches as our midfield because most of the balls were going his side. And Hafi Takopili, because he doesn't have a right foot. And uh, when he would like sort of beat uh, Frosla or Rama and then go back on this right, he would always bring back the ball. And uh, it, he no longer has the option of crossing the ball. Not one time did Lyle throw in a cross because, you know, Charulile is not the most, uh, he's not as lanky or like the most dominant in the air, but he's decent. I mean, even though I think that goal was like off the shoulder or something, even Kemet is decent. Uh, yeah. I, I, I think I, I think at least of all the chances he got, he, he, got, he could have had maybe like one or two crosses. And another thing is that I believe uh, when you play left back or left wing back for sundowns, you are expected to cut in a bit. Same way Kike Dolly used to cut in. Same way um, Langaman would cut in when he was at the peak of his powers. I think it, 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 it suits Obri Modiba more. Uh, but again, I, I, I will go back to this for the next uh, four fixtures or five fixtures for it. It's also, we are also at the beginning of the season. I mean, this was the first game of the season uh, of the league. So, you, uh, it, it, of the season. It, it, uh, <laughs> so, it would be, it would be harsh of me to, it, it would be unfair of me to be too harsh on him. Uh, even though I would have, I, I, I'm of the opinion that uh, it could have been much better. Like, I honestly think with Aubrey there, uh, it would be it would have been much much better. And and I think Aubrey would, would give us so much fluidity, and we will he will he will cause so many teams so many troubles. Like Aubrey cannot deal like one point. Like on a limited you can tell you have your AJ, you have your KK. You, you 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 have Kemet, you have Kaluli. Like I think, with our best eleven, we will we will we will be a headache to so many teams in the league. But yeah, um, I think we've said enough about that. But yeah, with Lyle, um, a bit disappointed in in his performance, uh, but cognizant of the fact that it's the first game of the season, so I won't be too harsh on him. Uh, but I think. Uh, I don't want to be too harsh, <laughs> but I think it's a four. I think it's a four. Yeah, it's a four. He offered nothing now. All he offered was a man to pass the ball to and recycle the ball. He did nothing with the ball. Yeah. Um, I was saying, but he was part of a back four. Him and Moreno part of a back four that that kept a clean sheet, but. It's, it's okay. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> uh, what a six. <laughs> a, be, a, a, a better six is in Cairo. <laughs> what a six. Oh my God. What a footballer. Uh, Wow, 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 wow. Another wow. season will pass by. Like, we will go through the same things with Rivaldo Kutke. You know, with Rivaldo Kutke, uh, Sundowns fans will be like uh, Arsenal fans in the Venga days and Liverpool fans before Klopp. Like, where yeah. there's, a, there's a, you know, like, it's a wheel. Like, you are, at the beginning of the season, like, you're so sure this is our season. And then you yeah. get, Two, two disappointing results and you think yeah. we are absolutely nonsense we'll try next season and then you catch momentum and then december you dip in form and then february you catch momentum then you go through so i think some non-spence when it comes to rivaldo accept guys rivaldo better six than rivaldo is is a lead yeah he's in Cairo. <laughs> <laughs> no in south africa they rob us of a full of a full football experience where we we have where, where sites like 
hisgoal.com or kind of it's not hisgoal.com kind of again uh who score.com and um these data analysis of the global down for how many touches how many passes how many you know it would be so 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 nice to know all that those stuff what a game from river um one of two of our best performance performers of today came from that no actually both of our best performers came in that midfield man they had a brilliant game by it to uh, uh let's talk about river you know the like, it's keeping it simple yes. to touch to touch passing the ball easy easy is <laughs> the ball that's the ball that puts here that's the what if rivaldo is like kick bongani zungu at sundowns like bongani zungu didn't have thrills like there were no yeah. thrills come for no like kept the temple same way I'm hello mokotjo keeps it simple but you know now one thing we must never fight about uh South African football consumers uh all of us is that we have this thing yeah yeah onyaka tsukiri uh if a team list nil yeah go mahlobo kwa sicelo shuka hela eh inkiko i wanted to say okay ke kwa kwa mahlobo i remember when i used to when i used to <laughs> <laughs> when Paul still playing in the NFB for tax and uh, they would score two goals in the first half oh my god you would hear the screams kalushugela kalushugela and i was like go to a december tournament if you want to see sugar like this is a professional game like you must be respect- respectful of your opponents remember the skins when we were leading 10-0 and we didn't even think we would get to 20-0 he yeah. screamed at the players or no show booting we let Eric 6-0 Peter said no show booty plus i think push pizza now is like the poster boy for 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 anti south african football i don't know where this thing comes from mary eh ka bona ditsa maya ka 1996 ready bona ditsa maya i'm seeing i was seeing skillful players who were progressive with the ball mchishi mchishi is a pure south african player mchishi doesn't come from a development structure Didn't go to an academy mshishi bona mukere ya te dlala vardos kwa that is your talent boy like mshishi you know how colombia has cocaine mshishi is your yeah. talent and mshishi you will never see him claiming the ball or aperdito fitsa o fitsa aperdito fitsa la o ka re kelegging bena ka bo fotsi ma karenge a hata bola ka mangweli a itse dilo tse o mshishi mshishi is your talent the way we shoes mshishi we used to do it but i think Uh, we we do think like uh for our way of playing uh, is i think people just maybe people think flair is making a mockery of your opponent but flair can oh. be, be subtle like flair can be subtle like nimshish i think is the best example of that i remember even when who's the celebrity uh 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 commentator mapenzel when he said ntanga say is way is 10 times better than mukojo i was like are you kidding me are mukojo are ntanga say le mlambo are better than mukojo and i was like listen to this so yeah i think all the commentators have hot takes boy all of them all of them are not bit yeah so like players like rivaldo you will never see what makes them good players like bomabu you will never see what makes them good but most more especially players like rivaldo Just to keep it simple but what rivaldo does and you know what's crazy the same people rave about tiago alcantara and the tiago alcantara keeps it simple that boy ana fle ana ingi you know it's just that he has you know like he's a you know he's a naturally a 10 like the yeah. traditional 10 that is behind the striker but with the progression of football is deeper now so he still has like those defense splitting passes rivaldo doesn't have that because he's a pure center back but at six what can you say I, mean, I read a tweet the other day or some dancers in which using the balls. I was like, <laughs> who was that? Name and shame. <laughs> uh, uh, Mr. Tipi got Tipi. Oh, who's that? Oh, 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 okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I- He was like, uh, "Some nonsense is using the revolt." I was like, "Oh, okay." Mm. So, although now nah, I'm gonna go straight and rate him 9.5. Mm. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Uh, I, I think and, and not forgetting, not forgetting that block and the assist, the block for 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 the Castro chance and the assist. Yeah, 9.5. Yeah, 
Yes. Um, let's go to Sean Paul. I think the captain today was um, better than he was against Celtic. Against Celtic. Yeah. And um, I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know why I prefer Sean Paul in the big teams, but I do. I have no reason. Uh, I think Sean Paul, you can say sundowns without saying Sean Paul. Uh, but um, even though I would love to see a midfield player, Rivaldo, AJ, Mkulisi, or Mido, yes. or Hashim yes. Domingo, like, but I want to ask you. Prefer, preferably, preferably Mkulisi, yeah. like, you got some point that midfield three and put Mkulisi, and you will know what, uh, what smack, smack ball, as Obi calls it, is. Yeah, <laughs> I wanted to ask you, would you sacrifice some for Mkulisi in that midfield? I think, yes, I think I if would. we did, I think if we did that, uh, okay, George, George, okay, like we were leading 2 0 and you know, we needed a more solid, uh, experienced midfielder who won a penalty, but it would have been exciting if we had through a uh, young blesser in that midfield, man. Yo, yo. Yeah, a real tip, a tip. The real... <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna give the captain uh, a five. Fair, fair enough. Um, one drive I had with him uh, that stood out for me was he wasn't reading Romeo's runs when he had when when oh Malmo yes oh yes I forgot I wanted to mention something like that you know what I wanted to mention him more, spe- more especially the fact that we look to play in between uh, in between Frosla and Rama a lot in the first half we look to play the ball in between. The right back and the and the and the right centre back. We look to play the ball there a lot because Charulile and Emmett kept alternating and they kept making those runs that side. And then not one of these ball uh, classic balls like mm. found Kemet or Charulile. Like we would always be a, a, a miss pass or we would have to recycle and then take it via Lyle and EJ. And um, mm. yeah, I think yeah, our midfield today was. You know, it was good in, th- in terms of like uh, the unit, they were good, but they were things that you can pick up individually, like what you just picked up now. Yeah, I think five is a, is a fair rating for the yeah. captain. Uh, AJ. AJ. Bullish. <laughs> Bullish, and, uh, especially in the second half. Uh, in the first half, he came across as a bit sluggish for me. Uh, yes. Just a bit same. sluggish. Yeah, but second half, man, just bullish, you know. Uh, arrogant and diligent, you know. Uh, <laughs> open baller as well. Uh, Lena, he kept it simple. He won a lot. He won a lot of balls uh, to cut uh, cheese counter attacks. Uh, yeah, what. I, I was. I was. I. I really love loved Angela Jelly's performance in the second half. Uh, they gave him men. They gave him men of the match. Um, but I said who my man of the match was earlier. But taking nothing away from AJ, he had a fantastic game. If you look at both the second half and the first and the first half together, you you, you I think um, it's a uh, eight point five for me or nine between eight point five and nine. I think nine is a fair rating. He was very good. Yeah. Oh, and, yeah. A, and another thing that uh, I found interesting. When George came on, you see Andy Leo like had a, like he added another it added another dimension to his game. It's like he went to get higher. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but yeah, I think I think he was uh, interesting today. So, no, no, the Rita man, no, I I move into the show. Temba, Temba, quietish game, uh, yes. quietish. Um, maybe he was missing his partner in crime. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, quiet his game, but he kept it moving. We we're still playing through him as usual. Mm. Uh, yeah, scored the penalty, you know. But uh, uh, the chance he got were that was super selfish of him. I mean, uh, you know, I think the thing is that uh, I don't know, man. Players sometimes. Uh, you know, an assist is as good as a goal, man. I mean, because a goal covers you in glory, but like, how does an assist? I mean, now assist, like, there's, there are awards for assists now, like, in the Premier League. Like, it shows you how important it is. 
And uh, I don't know. I think he just thought, hey, you know what? Like, I just want to play of the season. This is my chance to kind of like put the, like put the icing on the cake. Like, it's a big game against Chiefs. Um, you know, the, the the best players most of the time, like when it's big games, they never really... Like, I remember like with Tiko Modise. Tiko Modise like never had a goal like in the derby. And he was football of the year, this and that. Like, even though like players like Lodge, Pumanyama, they will get a goal. Uh, so like Mshishili and I like when, I think the only time he got a goal against Chief, he got a penalty. And the other one was like in a Shell Helix Cup. So I think, I don't know, like my thinking is that, you know, you, you maybe you feel like, hey, here's a, here's a chance and whatnot. But like, come on, man. I'm, if it was Gaston, there, this I can say with a bit of, with surety that is, I give you with surety or what, but if it was Gaston, Villa, or, or Ama, or Pesi, or whoever, he was passing that ball, 100% sure. The Muhammad boy gets his goal. You know what I mean. I mean, that one. No, it was actually Shalulile. Oh, yeah, I don't really know. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, the Muhammad boy, yeah. So, I think because, like, like uh, maybe the chemistry is not there yet, but if it was Gaston or any other one, uh, any other person, I think Mshishi was passing that ball. Um, that really disappointed me because... You know, you could say at least he had a good game. Okay, he didn't have a bad game, but it wasn't like a M M Shishi. Like if you check M Shishi's catalog, like that game is 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 yeah is on the picking order. Uh, with Gaston not there, oh, actually he took the penalty ahead of Nascimento. Uh, that's what M Shishi wants now. M Shishi wants to be a goal scorer now. Uh, he, he, Coach Peter said, she said he wants to be top scorer, he wants to be player of the year. He got player of the year, so maybe he's thinking now I can be among the top scorers again. But uh, and I, I, I say an assist is good enough as a goal, but yeah, uh, not much to make out of the performance, uh, but he's on the stat sheet. Yeah. Mm. Uh, 6.5? Six. Mm. Even if, when you cut the goal. Okay, six point five. If you cut the goal, then I'm sure we're forty eight minutes deep now. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Charulile. Charulile. You know, Peter Charulile again. Every time. <laughs> uh, Jesse, Jesse Nigel said, uh, Nachel, or I don't know how you pronounce this in, yeah. said Peter Chandelier is our best signing of, of, of the season. And he's, I think he's proving it right. Uh, he's, he's our best performer amongst our, all our signers this season. Yeah. Uh, even even Coach Mangova said uh, last week when he said, when he was asked Chandelier starting, and he said, he seems to be the one who um, is adapting quicker than all the other new signings. Yeah. Mm. Uh, great game he scored. Uh, after scoring last week and it was rule offside. Yes. I'm happy for uh, Strikers need goals for confidence. Uh, apart from Shalila's work off the ball, man, is... is it's very industrious. Learn. Very industrious. But yeah, well, good goal off the, sh- off the shoulder. Mm. Uh, yeah. Shalunile, I think seven or seven point five. I'm not sure. Mm, I think Shalunile's performance seven point five. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Kemet in the first half, uh, he was making the runs. Like you could see him, like on the ball, he was making good runs. Uh, another thing I liked about him is that uh, he was collecting the ball deep, uh, which which made him look a bit frustrated because. It's not coming to him. He's making the runs, and the balls on, and the ball is not coming his side. Uh, Kemet is um, even the goal he scored is exactly why we signed Kemet, and that's what we were talking about when we said we want a striker like Kemet. We want a striker who can get a goal out of nothing. Same way Kama used to do it, um, and Kletzo does. Uh, uh, and I hope Kletzo like finds game time the way he was finding it last season, so that he keeps progressing. Uh, but with Kemet, I'm happy. 
Heeman makes his own goal. He doesn't care that guy. Like in the first half, I think in the first 10 minutes, there's this other ball that came. He controlled it and then turned. And I thought Heeman is going to shoot this one because you know he he. That guy loves a goal against Chiefs and Pirates, but most, most especially Chiefs, he loves a goal against Chiefs. I'm moving to Nick Emmett, like he can play around him. And that, yeah, the over when he had a 3 0 game, he loves a big exactly. game. He loves a big game, Kemet, and that's what we signed him for. And I'm happy he also got a goal uh, 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 on his uh, first start. Uh, I think that was a good performance. I think uh, Kemet uh, gets seven out of me. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, who John. came on first? Was it? Was oh, who came on first? Uh, wasn't it Mabu? And Mabu for Kemet. It was. It was. It was. It was Mabu for Kemet. Yeah. As, as I mentioned at the beginning, I thought he looked sharp. Yeah. Um, he was ruled offside there and was far from offside. It was not. That ch- and the chance where he was going to roll it to Hashim and then Hashim was going to tap it in. Uh, yeah, um, because I don't know. Mabu five point five. I think it was a six, but I think I, I'll take five point five because when he came on, it's like he took over from where he left off. Car game of blue against the Champions League Net Bank Cup final. Uh, he didn't look rusty at all. He didn't look rusty at all. Yeah, uh, I think it's 5.5. Uh, George, I think it's also a 5.5. Like, for the sake of time, uh, I think we can like, be overly analytical of everyone, especially of the ones off the bench. I think George is also a 5.5. Like, came on, won a penalty. But besides the penalty, I think George, like, when he came on, he, he excited me. Like, uh, especially coming in the Trump role, you need to be, like, very, like, uh, you need to be dynamic, man. You need to control the game. Yes, uh, 5.5 is a good one. Yeah. Uh, Kulisomodao. <laughs> one thing I remember is uh, Coach Mangawa screaming, Kuliso, how many, how many balls are you going to lose? <laughs> I hate that there's no fans. We can hear these things now. <laughs> think for a rating? Uh, I don't think he did enough for a rating, but uh, Kulis is such a quality player. I don't think he did enough for a rating. Yeah. Mm. Uh, you know, last week you guys didn't uh, rate, rate the uh, Kulis. Shudra. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, man, today, absolutely spot on. Um, and they got it spot on. They got mm. it spot on. We were tactically superior. Everything like, and the way we were set up today was was so good. We were set up well today. I I know I know uh, uh, I know. Kush Bito used to say this, and I know Kush Rulani as well. They are not over. These guys don't uh, fuss over formations. They fuss yeah. over how they are set up and what type of rules they are assigning to the guys, and uh, uh, that's the main thing. And you could see today. The roles are what's more important. Yes. Uh, what, what 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 more what less than a ten or clean ten out of ten for Frederick, uh, Abit Nico and ah, and ah, Misha. Ah, ten, ten. Wait, three goals, three three. Papa and Nani must have ten every week. Give me one more. <laughs> nah, nah, I thought you would give them an eight, man. I mean, I it's think fine. we. Okay. Yeah, like I think we still need a proper test. Uh, didn't test us, boy. Like, every day we should have scored more today. Like, that game left like another six months. Like, we should have seen a six nil there. Hey, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to 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 Yeah, and for an away game, like an away big game, but not they did well. But I think let's give them eight. Uh, I don't want to be, I don't want, want to be too excited because this Chiefs team is not good enough, to be honest. I'm big too excited, me. Mm. <laughs> it's fine. You are you are allowed. That's that's all, guys. Uh, we're sorry yeah. for being wrong, but it's the first game of the season. Uh, we beat that scum from down the western bypass three uh, <laughs> 0 <laughs> Yeah. So. What more could you ask for? Happy days. Mm. Yes, uh, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, please subscribe to Masanda Anafan Vlog if you haven't. Uh, if you have, uh, uh, 
tell your friend or whoever hasn't subscribed to subscribe uh we are so close to 5000 subscribers and uh we are going for and please share the links on your social media pages uh on your whatsapp stories uh we are so close to 1 million total views and when we get to 1 million 1 million total views we're going to do something special um for everyone who's been supporting my Sunday on a fan vlog so yeah guys uh thank you for watching and uh see you in the next game this is what it says hey <laughs> <Shut up. laughs>